Today is February the 1st, 2016. My name is Tanya Fincham, and along with me is Alex Bishop, and we're with Oklahoma State University. Today we are in Soper, did I say that right? Oklahoma, to speak with Leona McGarry. So thank you for having us. Thank you for coming. Let's start with having you tell us when and where you were born. Yeah, I was born in Oklahoma, in Choctaw County, in July the 27th, 1950. And I still live about four miles from where I was born. Didn't venture too far. <laughs> no, I haven't, I haven't ventured too far. Well, where in Choctaw County? Soper? No, it was near my home now. I live south of Soper, so I was more now, closer to where I live now. Born at home? Yes. And what did your parents do for a living? They were sharecroppers. They uh, rented and paid back their rent <coughs> with the products that they produced on the farm. And, and what was that? They, they cotton and corn, mostly with their crops. Were they from Oklahoma? Yes. Well, my dad was from Texas. He was from Kirby, Texas. And my mother was from Oklahoma. And how did they meet? Well, they met in the dates one night, and uh, they married soon afterwards, and she was 15 years old, and he was 35 when they got married. Wow. <laughs> Quite a difference. Yes. <laughs> yes. And how many children did they have? They had... Uh, they had eight children, and six lived to be adults. And where where are you in, in that? Uh, I'm uh, next to the youngest one. Almost the baby. My brother is younger than I am, and he is 96. Still living? Yes. Did any of the others live to 100? No. How about your parents? No. My father died when he was in his uh, 70, and my mother died when she was 86. And yeah. no, no one else, aunts or uncles, that made it to 100? Uh, no. What do you think the secret is? Well, I don't know. It's a higher power, must be. <laughs> Got the wind catching it. Higher, a higher power. Yeah, it has to be a higher power. <laughs> <coughs> and uh, my father was uh, was a farmer. So I say he was a sharecropper, and uh, we lived on the farm. And I have they had cows and hogs and chickens and ducks. So we were just farmers. <laughs> what was your chore to do? Several. I was to get in the eggs and help get in the firewood and uh, help mother on wash day. We had to carry the water from the springs. So we had to. Uh, help her fill up her tubs and her pots and get ready for wash day. Using a washboard? Yes. The light soap. Light soap. <laughs> and, uh, so we, everyone in our neighborhood, we lived all just alike. We were all in the same situation. We were. <laughs> So, uh, 
but life was good. We enjoyed life. And <clears throat> my father, he was a rodeo guy. And he loved to go to rodeos and he entered rope in. And, uh, he won a saddle one time at the rope in convention in Oklahoma City. That's pretty good. What, yeah. what was his name? His name was, uh, oh, Edward. He went by Ed. Ed Taylor. Taylor, okay. Yes. And uh, my mother, she was from Tishomingo or up around Oklahoma City. And uh, she was, uh, she was born the year of the Black Rock in 1886. Well, had her parents come for that, or were they already here? Uh, uh, they were here. They were here. They were here. And uh, well, what are some things you would do for fun as a as a young child? <clears throat> well, the first thing I remember, we had community uh, candy breaking. They called. It. So they'd all come and have a big box of candy. And I don't know for sure, but they'd break it some way and they'd all, you know, distribute the candy to everybody that was there that participated in the candy. Chocolate yeah. or hard candy? It was hard candy. Like peppermint or? No, it was more of a taffety. Oh, okay. They pulled. You know, kind of like the old homemade candy. They'd made it themselves? Yes. <clears throat> and, uh, well, where did you go to school? Well, I went to Orange Stop School here. And then I went to the Mormon School in St. Louis, south of here. And we walked to school. There were no school buses in those days. And, me and my brother walked to school, and uh, of course we, we didn't know the end. You know, it was a long way, so we had gone a long way to school. But we would walk and uh, go through the woods. And so. Rain or shine? Rain or shine. Or snow? There's snow, it snowed on us. So. About how far of a walk? I imagine it's four miles over there. Yeah, to our south school. Mm. Go first through eighth? Yes. Or around there? <clears throat> so back in them days, we didn't have no buses. And if you graduated from grade school to high school, you had to go to town and board there and go to school. But we didn't have the school buses. Yeah. What what town? Boswell. Boswell. Okay. Yeah. Did you do that? No. <laughs> no. And it's not very of the country girls, you know, that went any higher than our grade school. But we was really taught straight and we learned a lot. <clears throat> how to do cursive, how to use cursive, cursive writing. Yes, some of it, yeah, penmanship, mm -hmm. yeah. Did you have a favorite subject? Yes, it was healthy living. <laughs> <laughs> do you believe it? <laughs> You want to try that again? <laughs> <laughs> well, I enjoyed healthy living more than any of my subjects. Not math or not math history. Not, or I wasn't good at math. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, what would you take for lunch? 
Well, honey, we packed our <coughs> lunches and little gallon, little pie, little buckets. Well, we would take fried sugar pies we'd make. And then, of course, Mother would uh, boil us some eggs and we'd take a sandwich and something like that. Everybody, all the children, <laughs> carried their lunches in little buckets, little pails. Sugar fried pie? Yes. <laughs> I, I know what a fried pie is, but for, just sugar on the inside? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. And then they bake it. Bake it. <coughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -uh. Well, would your mother make your clothes? Yes. Out of, yeah. out of where would she get her fabric? Well, in Boswell, we had dry goods stores. Mm -hmm. Had about <coughs> two big dry goods stores. And she would buy the material and make her own clothes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And would she quilt? Yes. She took the Kansas City Star way back there years ago. And it has the pattern. Yes, yeah. it had the patterns in it. And, uh, and every fall, when our fall crops were done, and Papa took the cotton off to gin it and sell it. We all got new shoes for winter. Once a year, huh? <laughs> and that lasted us a year. They, they were good shoes then. And if you outgrew them? Well, we got a new pair. Yeah. But there was a lot of barefooting going on, too. A lot of us went barefoot in the summer. Have to worry about bee stings? Oh, we got those too. <coughs> snake, snake bites? No, our whole family grew up. You know, our place had not too far from the creek here. And none of us children were ever snake bit. That's pretty good. That was good. Mm -hmm. Well, did your mother teach you how to sew? Well, yes, yes, yes. I wasn't too good at it, but you know, I did okay. <laughs> could sew on a button. Huh? Yes, I could sew on a button. <laughs> well, after the eighth grade, what did you do when you finished school? Well, I finished school and I was home. And then uh, a year or so, I got married and uh, started raising my family. And uh, so we had seven children. We have lost, I had lost two, we had eight children, it was lost two. And I have six left. Three boys and three girls. How old were you when you got married? I was 68 years old. That would have been 31, right during the Depression. Yes, yes, it was. Okay. Did you get married at, at home or church? or? No, we got married at, uh, at uh, the courthouse in Hugo. We married in Hugo. Yeah kind of eloped or did you tell people no, you were going? They, they knew we were getting married. <laughs> yeah. Did you have a special dress? Yes. And uh, I don't know what ever become of it. <laughs> but I had a special dress that I wore that day. And have a honeymoon? No. 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 What would you do for dates? For, for what would he where would you go on dates? Well, we went to country dances. That's a That's, that was our mostly pastime, is going to country dances. And uh, we had, they had a dance every, every week somewhere in our community. Mm -hmm. Individual homes? Yes. How did you meet your husband? Well, 
I had new heel and saw him off and on for, you know, a good while, and they lived between here and Bonsville. And so uh, my dad looked, used to like to uh, rope cows and calves, so they'd have a rope in every Sunday. And so my husband got to come down to the rope pit on Sunday evening, and that's how I met him. And uh, so we lived in Hugo, I think, for three years. He worked down there for a heavy machinery operator. And then we moved back, and we've been here ever since. So. Did you learn to do any of the rodeo things? No, no. I think I did one time when I was very young. I thought I was going to ride this calf. And I told the other kids, well, hold that calf, you know, and I'll ride the calf. And so the calf just made one leap and over his head, I'm with it. So. And, uh, Hello. So that ended by. <laughs> no, no, nothing broke? No. <laughs> But your pride, maybe. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, how did he pop the question? Well, let me see. That been a long time ago. I think he and I, we kind of kept it a secret for a while, and we were engaged. And me and my sister one day, we went, we got ready to, we went to Hugo and he met me in Hugo and we got married. So my family really didn't know that we were married until we come home that evening. <laughs> and how did they take the news? They're pretty good, <laughs> pretty good. So Hugo in the 30s, that's when the circuses first came yes, to, 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 think to so. Hugo. I think so. Any any special memories out about the depression? Well, yes. You know, we didn't have no washing machines with the tub or a board. And we had to do that. And we had to draw our own water. You know, our houses. A lot of we didn't have a modern house. You know. And uh, we didn't have running water, so that was kind of a struggle on wash day. <laughs> How about bath time? Well, bath time, we took baths in our old big tub. We'd have to heat the water on the stove. And we'd take a bath, and we would... Maybe you couldn't let just one take a bath. Servant had to use the same water. And so, <laughs> did you get to go first? <laughs> I can't remember. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> and how often would you do that? Once a week? Or Once so? a week, surely we did it. Well, the, the little toddlers got it more than me, but I would have to bath them pretty often. Yeah, that. How often would you get to go to town? Oh, well, I'd say for a while after I got to raise it, my family and out here, my husband does most of the shopping. We had a little country store up here, and he would go and buy most of the groceries and everything. So I didn't go to the store that much and shop. Mm -hmm. It's a job I still don't like. I like to shop. <laughs> well, would you go to the movies? Yes. We didn't have movies like we do now. They were silent way back when I was young. They wasn't no talking to each other to read it. And, uh, so... We'd been through all that. Well, when you were younger, did you get an allowance or any any money that you could do what you wanted to with? No, no. 
We probably got 50 cents to go to town. The movie just cost us a dime to get in back then. A piece? A dime a piece? Yes. And you get a big sack of candy for five cents. And, uh, Dimes were worth more back then, huh? They were. <laughs> and I was telling my children the other day that if I can remember right, and I think I can, when Dad went to plant his crops of a spring, $25 covered his price of seed and everything that he planted for $25. Hmm. And now uh, that was a lot of money too. That was a lot of money back then. Where would he have to take the cotton to be ginned? He took it to Boswell. They had it ginned then. About how far is that from here? That's ten miles from oh. here. It's a long way in a wagon. Yes. Did he plow with uh, mules or? Yeah, he mules? plowed with mules. And, Turdy plow, we called it. Yeah. One, one row at a time. Mm -hmm. did, yeah. you, did you have to help pick cotton? I had to help pick cotton and I hold the fields. Yes. Mm -hmm. Barefooted? Yes. <laughs> Most of the time we were. Yeah. And, uh, of course, we had to hold the cotton crop. And, do things like that, plant uh, corn and stuff like that. Of course, in later years, he got a corn planter. So we didn't have to drop it, but we have dropped it. Yeah. Would you go to church? Yes, we went to church. And now. Uh, we, uh, my dad, he, he went to church regular every Sunday. And, uh, of course, uh, my mother and us children, it was at home. We would more, you know, on the weekend or, you know, when I was when then we had to go in the wagon. And, uh, so, yes, we attended church. What denomination? Well, we had a Pentecostal church and we had a Baptist church. And my dad went to. Yes. Did you sing in the choir or? Some, yeah. That's what we all sing in the choir, you know. Hello. Did you play any instruments? Well, I played the tambourine no, a little bit. Doing, um, not much. An interview right now for <laughs> no, not for not a march. Oh, Sisters and brothers were oh. uh, musicians. My mother couldn't sing really good, and uh, she was she could play the piano just a little bit, but not that much. Have a favorite church song? Oh yes, we had uh, a lot of beautiful old hymns. We say yes, Amazing Grace. I love that, and an uncloudy day. And what a friend we have in Jesus. And uh, yes, we take all of those old hymns. Mm -hmm. Have revivals? Yes, we had a, the old outside revivals that uh, Rush Arbor, they call it, the Rush Arbor days. We went through that. And, uh, Have a regular preacher or a traveler? Travel no, up. we had a regular pastor, minister. Mm -hmm. Well, did your husband have to serve in the war? No, no, he didn't. If you were 16, how old was he? I think he was 24. A little, not 22. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> Did any of your family members serve in uh, the war or were in, in the service? Yes, my brother that's younger than I am, he served, I think, two years in overseas. World War II. And my older son, well, my two, my two older sons was there. One of them was in the, up to Cuba, the Korean War. So, yeah. Well, when your brother was over there, did he write you letters? Yes. 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 Did you keep them? Yes, we did. And, uh, and he made it back? He made it back. He was in good health. And, He's still in fair health. He has some trouble with his uh, back. I think it's more arthritis. <clears throat> and where, where does he live? He lives in Wilberton, Oklahoma. So, so he stayed in the state too? Yes. Do you get to see him very often? Yes, pretty often. We talk a lot on the phone quite a bit. Did you two get into mischief as kids? Well, yes, sometimes we would. <clears throat> we stole our dad's tobacco out one day. So we was gonna learn how to chew tobacco. <laughs> so we, we got out on the cellar and we took the box, my dad's box of tobacco. So we took a big old chew and, so, I can't remember if it made us sick or not, but I think it did. So that ended our tobacco experience. One and done. Yes. <laughs> a cellar under the house? Was no. it a cellar? No. no, we had it out in the yard. Boys. Did you have to get in it for bad weather? Yes, we did. Lots of times. Oh, and I'll have to tell this. It used to be when it come up a big cloud, we called it a star cloud. And mother would say it's a tornado. And she'd say, kids, go get an axe and cut that cloud in two. Well, we would aim the axe right at the cloud like we was cutting it. And believe it or not, it would work. One part would go one way and one the other, so we didn't get that tornado. <laughs> or we thought it worked. <laughs> well, when you got in trouble, who would do the spanking or discipline? Mother. Would she? Dad would never touch us up. Would she, would she spank? Yes, she would spank us. She'd use a switch. A switch. And uh, yeah, she would. Would you try to hide it? No, I would try to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> didn't work, huh? It didn't work. <laughs> well, describe the house that you grew up in. How many bedrooms and where you slept, that type of thing. Okay. We moved into, uh, it, it had been a store building. It had been a store there. It was just a big, long house. And it was covered with the sheet art. Top sides, too. And they had been some rooms partitioned off. And we had a bedroom, and a living room, and a kitchen. And uh, so it was a big, big building. And finally, if I remember right, we built a little bedroom on in a kitchen we had. And uh, we had a big front porch in front of the building. Uh, have to share your bedroom with yes, siblings? Yes, yes. And, uh, so. 
Well, did you work? No. No, just, just in the fields. Well, once you got married, did you, you stay at home? I did. I think I worked about two weeks at Hugo with the little building there. I think it was kind of a lob tree or where we are and there's no. But I just worked while the children were in school. Mm -hmm. So it went over two weeks that I worked. Well, how did you do your ironing? We had old flat irons, we called it. We had to heat it on the stove. Not at the job, but in the home was our. And we had to heat them on the stove and had to have a heavy cloth to handle them, you know, they were so hot. And that's the way we ironed our clothes. I ironed anything else besides clothes? Well, we ironed, sometimes we would iron our pillow slips, not often, but sometimes we did. And, uh, yeah, we would arm the scarves and things like that. And put on the Most mostly cotton at that time, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it, it was. It was cotton before polyester. Yes. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> well, did your mother can? Yes, she can lots. Did did you or her either one belong to a homemaker club? Yeah, we did for a while. But as far out of the country we were, it just kind of like <coughs> fell apart. Yes. Do you remember the name of it? No, I really don't. They had some neat names back then. Yes. Like the Daisy Club or something like that. And we met it to the school house. It was our place where we always met our club meeting. And, uh, well, what were some things that you would do for fun after you were married? Well, I'll tell you, I guess I kept pretty busy raising the family. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, of course, my husband worked for the commissioners, and sometimes we'd go to, I think we went to Broken Bar, Beaver's Bed, you don't have a little picnics and we'd all spend the day there. So it was just occasionally this and that. Pack a picnic? Yes. Go fishing? Yes, sometimes. <clears throat> who would drive the kids? Who, who would drive you there? Who drove you there? Oh, uh, my husband, he worked for the county for a while. And he had the county truck. You know, so we were just all goes up, and it was a big old truck. So we would just load that up and go picnic. <laughs> so you did you drive at the time? No, I never drove until I was in my seventies. Seventies? Yes, and I got my driver's license. Uh, who taught you? I went, well, mostly I just taught myself. My husband passed away and I was telling my granddaughter this morning and he left a pickup and it was standard. So one day I decided I was going to go to town. My sister lived in Boston. I was going to visit her. And I always went to Country Road. I wouldn't get on the highway. And so I made this whole block around here, you know, and went to town. I turned off to get on the country road, and there was a car behind me, and I'm sure I made a bobble, you know, and I turned over to let him by. So he wouldn't go past me. He slowed down and stayed behind me, and I turned off. <laughs> but I got to Boswell. <laughs> Did you pass the test the first time? No, I didn't. <laughs> no, we wouldn't take her down. There's about three of us older ladies we went together. And, uh, and uh, when they got through, going through our training and everything, 
I told some of I know those guys were so tickled we was in it out. <laughs> they were through with us. <laughs> but we had fun. <laughs> Did you have you traveled much? Well, yes, I have. Not posted, but I, oh, it's been six, seven years ago. I guess <clears throat> me and my sister just decided we'd travel, so we went to the first. Uh, me and my daughter went to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So we stayed there a while, and then uh, we went to, to Monterey, New Mexico, uh, California. And then us four ladies, four of us ladies, decided we was going on a trip. So uh, we all loaded up and we went to California. It took us, I think, about five days to get there. We just went to the painted desert, the very forest, and, and uh, so and we had lots of fun. We, I told him when he come evening, we were always looking for a Motel Six, <laughs> <laughs> and we would we enjoyed our our trips. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, and back to me and my sister. We went up to, uh, oh, in Georgia, no, where the, the presidents are installed. Mount Rushmore? Mount, Mount Rushmore. Rushmore. We went to Mount Rushmore, and we stayed, we went there, we went to Deadwood, you know, the old frontier town, and, uh, we traveled for, I guess, maybe a year in all. So, uh, and we went on the bus, did me and her on the bus. And we went to Monterey, California, and we went to uh, Mount Rushmore. And, I love it up there. It's beautiful. I've never South, been. South Dakota's beautiful. It's on my list. And uh, so. And this was all after your husband had passed. Yes. Yes. Did you ever do any camping? We did camping. We camped out up there. And part of it, my uh, nephew, he had a Winnebago, you know, and so he took a stub in the end. So we kept out and we kept one place on the top of a kind of mountain. And we could still see the rocks where the teepees were years ago at Red Ground, where they had stations or teepees. Hmm. Yeah. Pretty neat. It, well, I enjoyed it. You ever do any, any fishing or any type of outdoor, other outdoor activities? Oh, yes, we fished. We, that used to be our big hobby, fishing. Um, Got any good fishing stories? Well, not really. Not really. We just went fishing in it. And that will make you really think, well, I really want good fish, but you can't get in unless you catch them fresh. <laughs> Bolt fish is not good. <laughs> <laughs> what would you use for bait? We use minnows. Yes. Yeah, we bought minnows and fish. Do any noodling? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm afraid of that. <laughs> <laughs> Too smart for that, huh? <laughs> Your daughter told us about a cabin you once built. We built a little cabin. We had this fishing place that me and my friend went for years and fished. And 
So we decided that we were going to build us a little camp where we could sleep at night, you know, and stay at the lake. So we got our little cabin fixed and everything real nice. And one day we went down there and behold, somebody had burned her little cabin up. It was all of it gone. <laughs> was it on? Was it on your property? <laughs> no. There was a reason. I My neighbor called it squatters. He laughed at us. <laughs> but <clears throat> we loved to camp out. Pitch a tent? Yeah. Pitch a tent? Yes. Yes, we did. And now. So you fried your fish? We fried them. We cooked on the campfire. You cleaned them first? I mean, yeah. you we cooked them out when the they was. And our cow, yeah. Well, after they burned the cabin down, did you go back? Ever now and then, not that much anymore. We didn't go back. Found a different spot? <laughs> well, it was just kind of a time, I think we just kind of got where we didn't fish that much anymore, so. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, do you remember voting for the first time? Not really. I really can't the first time I voted. Mm -hmm. First time you saw an airplane? Oh, yes, I remember that. And uh, I had been, I think I was at the house <clears throat> by myself. And it was a plane that had to be two wings on it. It's a, you know, it was a, it, I remember it coming over the edge of the timber, you know. And I was looking, I thought, well, what's that, what's that? And it was an airplane, it was, you know, and I remember those, you know. Bi Biplanes? Yes. And that. Uh, Did you want to go up in one at that point? Well, yes, and I, you know, I like to fly pretty good, yes. But I've got to tell you all this. I was at home one day by myself, and I'm always waving at the planes, you know, when they come by. And I heard a plane when it was on a Sunday morning. And I went out, he was kind of pretty low, you know, and I waved at him, and he saw me. He made a dive and he came down and he circled and I could see his big old mittens each way. He's just a wave and I'd been out of waving at him. And he just played around up there, you know. So he left and I thought, boom. He didn't leave a track. He didn't leave nothing. If I'd have told my mom on them what happened, they wouldn't believe it. For he didn't leave no track. And I, that was a great experience to me. Yeah, he just put on a little show for me that morning. Did you go on any train rides? Yes, when I was younger, I've been on the train ride. <laughs> Have to go to Hugo to catch it? No, we caught it in the Right where you turned on coming down here. There used to be a little thing they called Unger. And the train would stop there. That was a long time ago. And, uh. Well, where would it take you? You could go to uh, Duran or, or, you know. And it also went to Hugo, too, back in them days. 
and uh, we'd go to see my grandmother. She lived in El Reno, Oklahoma. So we would catch the train and go see her. Take it easier than getting in the car, I guess. Yes. Or wagon at that point, I don't know which. Wagon or a car at that point. Yeah. How would you get from your house to the train? Oh, we would probably in the wagon. I'm sure back in them days. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, well, did you have pets? Yes, I love my cats. I had cats back in them days. Yes. Hmm. Well, did you have to milk a cow? Well, I, I never all that much with my dad. The boys always milked it. So, yes, we always had cows to milk. <clears throat> The boys did the work outside and the girls did the work inside? Well, we worked outside, inside too, the girls did. Yeah, we hold it and uh, pick cotton and done things like that, yeah. Did your mother teach you how to cook? Yes, yes. What was the favorite thing that she would make that you liked? Well, I think it was a slaw that she made. And I still wonder just how she made it. It was so simple. <clears throat> it was shredded cabbage. And I know she poured cream, you know, heavy cream over them. And she poured sugar and perhaps a little vinegar. But I can't never get mine to taste like hers. Hmm. And it was very, very good. Now it'd be the homemade cream. Yes. That we can't, yes. can't get easily. Yeah. <clears throat> fried chicken or baked chicken? We always fried our chicken, yeah. You know. Yeah. Would they slaughter their own hogs? Yes. Yes. Smoke it or can it? Can the meat or smoke it? They smoked it. Smoked it. Did it. My dad had a smokehouse and big old benches in there, or tables, big old tables in there. He put the meat in there on that and rubbed it down with salt and spices and built his fire in there. And, and it'd keep all all winter or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah what were holidays like back in your childhood Christmas and Thanksgiving well we had I believe maybe Easter was one that we might have kept more after we all grown up my brother and his family would come to my house for Easter and uh, they had five children. And so we were just at a big long table. And uh, we would all eat at that table and it would just be full of stuff that we cooked and brought for lunch. And uh, the kids especially just loved it. They loved it. Did they do Easter egg hunt? hunt? Yes, yes they did. And, uh, How would they color the eggs? We just colored them all colors. We, way back then we had what we called crepe paper and we would dampen that, you know, and it would color. So they would color their eggs with that crepe paper. Hmm. I hadn't yeah. heard that. You never? Uh-uh. The girls used to make hair bows out of it. He go bows in there. And that's before really they had that much rip on it, you know. Her. It's probably somewhere, but it wasn't in our parts of the country. <laughs> I remember the girls wearing the big old paper bows. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, would, would, at Christmas time, would you have a, a tree and presents? Yes, we had presents, yes. Yes. And it, I can remember I'd get a doll and my brother got a little trade say it, you know, it had been about that long, but there was this little, cute little trade and, and apple and oranges, and that was about it. Did they celebrate July 4th? Not that much, we didn't. <laughs> Homemade ice cream? Yes, we had it ever, you know, the community kindly went in and we'd have ice cream at someone's house and back in <coughs> forward. <coughs> well, during the summer when it would get so hot, how would you keep cool at night? We didn't. You didn't. <laughs> we didn't have even a fan back in the days. We slept with the doors open, and mostly people had their beds out on the porch. They put their beds out on the porch in summertime. Just to get a breeze, hopefully. And to get a breeze. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yes, we didn't have no electricity, you know, for the fans, and we didn't. But we all lived through it. it. None of us, it didn't kill any of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you appreciate air conditioning today? Yes, I do. I <laughs> definitely do. And I'm especially thankful for my washing machine. <laughs> yes. I imagine the refrigerator is pretty important, yes, too. Yes, it is. I remember when we had an ice man, he'd come in his wagon, he'd have an ice back there, a cold quilt over it or, or something. So we'd buy our ice and we'd have to bring it in and wrap it up in, in an old quilt mother had or an old ducking, piece of ducking or something heavy. And we'd wrap it up. In, Keep it in the house. So he run once a week. Well, would it last that long before it melted? I don't think so, but I can't remember for sure, but I don't think so. Uh, would you order things from the mail, mail order catalogs? Yes, yes we did. Uh, Montgomery Ward or Sears or what? Did Sears or Roebuck and Montgomery Ward. Uh, mm. Yes. And did the postman come by the house or did you have to go to town to get mail? No, he came to the house. Okay. Yeah. Did you have a telephone? No. No. No, we didn't have no telephone. And I still miss our letters we used to get. You don't hardly get letters no more. <laughs> yeah. People don't know how to cursive write either. I know. They, they, they don't teach it too much. Or shorthand. Did you, did you learn how to do shorthand? Not really. Not really. We did a lot of penmanship and that. But did you learn needlepoint? A little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I tell her I can't crochet granny squares. That's about all I can do. <laughs> what what kind of hobbies do you have today? Do you read, paint? I read. I was a reader. Yes, even my dad, all of us was readers at home. Well, I don't know if my older brothers were, but I can remember my dad. He would work hard at farming and working every day. But when he come in at night, 
he would get his book and read for a long, long time before he went to bed. So we was readers where we were, you know, having domino games and playing games. We just read a lot. What kind of books do you like to read? Oh, you wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you have a favorite true author? True stories. You mean? <laughs> true stories. Yeah. And biographies. Mm -hmm. Biographies or novels or what? They were novels, you know. There was true stories in the book magazine. And uh, I never hardly missed a month to get the new one. Yeah, but I loved to read back in bed. Westerns, Louis L'Amour? I read a lot of Westerns. My dad loved the Western books. He read the. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you ever paint or do anything like that? Yes, I paint a little bit, yeah. I'm not good, but it passes the time. <laughs> oil or oil painting or what, what type of painting? It just landscapes, and just, you know. How did you learn? I took... Uh, Lessons from, oh, I'll say, maybe a year, maybe not that long. But I did go to arts, you know, took art for this Latin. Yeah. Here in the, in, in so, Boswell. Yeah. And how old were you when you did that? Oh, my goodness, I don't know. My 70s, probably. Just decided to learn? Yes. Good for you. And uh, so we took art, me and my sister. And <clears throat> so I, I did belong. I don't know if I've been out too long or not. I might be too old. <laughs> but our art thing is in Hugo, the Frisco Depot. Mm -hmm. You promise. So. And. Uh, we go down there once a year in April and set up our art. And I really enjoy it. You don't sell it or I don't see any soul, but they do grade it, you know. The guy from Paris comes over and he grades our art. I never have got first prize, but I've got second. Hey. Yeah, man. Are you working on anything now? Yes, I just started the painting, I think, two days ago, Saturday, I believe was when I started. I've just got the background in it. What's it going to be? What What is it going to be? Oh, it's going to be, a, I hope, <laughs> it's going to be a, a meadow with this old barn sitting out there. And I want to have a rail fence. And I want a saddle over these rails. And then I want his boots and hat upon the post there. So that's my want. That's your vision. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want. <laughs> Every painter has a good vision. Yeah. <laughs> These hands won't do what you tell them to. <laughs> well, when you were growing up and as an adult, did you ever uh, submit anything to like a county fair for judging or did you attend the Choctaw County? I guess it would be Choctaw County? Yeah. Fair? Yeah. And we... Not that much, but we all went to the fair in Hugo, and uh, so there really wasn't that much activity just right around in our district. Where would you get your books? Would there was there a library here? Yeah, in Hugo. In Hugo, but when you were younger, how would you get them? Uh, our school furnished our books. Okay. Yeah. Our school furnished the school books. Mm -hmm. 
And I know living out in the rural area, were you ever a member of a homemakers association, like an extension homemakers group? or? They did for a while, but I couldn't I'll tell you the name of it. And they come to our church houses where they come in. But I can't not tell you the name of that. Did bookmobiles come out in your name in your community? Bookmobiles? The book no, they didn't. They didn't, they didn't hmm. get this far down? Yeah. Well, did you ever think you'd make it to a hundred? No. I never saw them there. How did you celebrate? Well, we had a... Uh, my daughter gave me a party over in Garland. <clears throat> so, they had rented the park. So we had the park all that day, that certain park. And I imagine we had 200 people there. Wow. Yeah. That's a good number. And, uh, you have to blow out your candles? A hundred candles? No, did I? <laughs> you went there. I don't think my gang had candles. I think they did. I don't know. Probably a one and a zero zero. It's a beautiful cake, but I can't remember blowing out of that. <laughs> and, uh, well, on a typical day, what time do you get up these days? I get up at 7.30, generally, every morning. And go to bed at what time? Maybe 8, 7.30 or 8. Yeah. And what sorts of things do you do during the day to pass the time? Paint. Sometimes I do, and sometimes I just clean out old drawers and throw away old papers. And there's always something to do. And uh, wash and some days I iron. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you still drive? No. No. You gave it up, do you remember when? It's been about four, five years, I'd say so? that. Well, then you not drove too long ago. Twenty. You drove 25 or 30 years, that's yeah. not bad. Yeah, no. Do you have anything on your bucket list you left you want to do? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Any place else you want to see? Yeah, no. Now, I would love to go to Australia. Why Why there? I don't know. I just think I'd love there. <laughs> see a kangaroo, huh? I guess so. <laughs> That's a pretty long trip. It is. Have you been out of the country? No. 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 Mm -hmm. I saw across the line from Texas to Mexico, but I was never over in Mexico. Oh, Mexico. Oh, Mexico. Mm -hmm. I think you might have said, but what's your secret to longevity? What do you... Mm -hmm. What do you think is your secret to living so long? Well, you know, really, I I don't know. I don't think there's anything I did. It must have been a higher power. I think the Lord had that in control. Well, do you eat pretty much what you want? Yes. Take any medicine? Yes. I take blood pressure medicine. And I take... Uh, that roid medicine that I take, you know, just common. It's all that fish you <laughs> ate. It's all that fish. I guess. <laughs> and, uh, so. Well, do you watch much television? Quite a bit. Not all that much, but I like the news, and I like to keep up with Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so you follow politics? <laughs> I can't say that. 
front of everybody. <laughs> Well, besides the news, what else is your favorite program? Well, I watch Dr. Phil and I watch Judy. Judy. I have to break myself watching ID. <laughs> <laughs> and I like a good movie. And uh, watch Jeopardy or American Idol or dance. What's no, I don't dance like the American Idol that much. <laughs> I watch Stepford Subs. I like him. <laughs> do, do you still get outside? Yes. Yes, I get around practically every day and walk in the yard. To the yeah. mailbox. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Just like enjoying camping. I would assume you'd still like to, you still enjoy getting outside to yeah. get some fresh air. And oh, I can't stay inside. You know, it's just I just want to sit here and not even get up. You know, I can't get outside. <laughs> what advice would you give to someone that wants to live to a hundred? Well, just... Love yourself and love the Lord and... Uh, to treat everybody like you'd like to be treated. And when history is written, what would you like it to say about you? How do you want to be remembered? <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough question, we know. We'll put you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. There's that old woman down in Oklahoma, I guess. <laughs> With a good sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be a detective. A detective? Detective, yes. <laughs> No, we we were all a healthy family in it. I think the food and everything is a lot of the cause of our bad health now. Mm -hmm. We used to have lots of bees, you know, honey bees. This country was full of them and we don't have it any anymore. Hardly well, would you all sit around and have dinner together? Meal times together? Yes, yes, we all went to the table and ate our meals at the table. What did you call the, the lunch meal, the noon meal? We called it breakfast, dinner, and supper. Supper, okay. And now, do you still do that? Yes, I do. <laughs> I have to stop and think and worry when it's dinner, you know. I just do it or not eat it. Yeah. Been a pretty good life? Yes, I've had a good life. Yes. Anything else you want to add before we close out? No, I, I don't think so. Yeah. No. Well, we appreciate you sharing your stories. Well, I've enjoyed it. I'm glad you're okay. Quite a pleasure. Thank you.